And welcome back to Hannity. It is yet another example of crony capitalism at its worst, and it has to do with the disastrous Obamacare website and the president's wife, Michelle Obama. Now, according to a report in the Daily Caller, quote, First Lady Michelle Obama and her Princeton classmate, whose company received the no-bid contract to build the healthcare.gov Obamacare website, were both members of a black student organization that caused a tense scene on campus by inviting a PLO leader who advocated for terrorism. Michelle Obama, 85, and her classmate, uh, Tony Towns Whitley, 85, a senior vice president at CGI Federal, were both students at the university when the group's organization of Black Unity and the Third World Center engaged in a confrontation with Jewish students on campus. Here with reaction to that story, and the author of the brand new book, Things That Matter, Three Decades of Passions, Pastimes, and Politics, number one, by the way, on Amazon.com as we speak, is Dr. Charles Krauthammer. Congratulations on a, what is a fantastic book. I've, I've enjoyed every, every page. Thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate that very much. And by the way, I, I love the fact that you, you gave a speech one day and you told the story about me and all the years that we had known each other. Go, you, you, go ahead. Mock, you can mock me on national TV. I, I don't mock you. <laughs> you know, I'm always surprised that you're upset by that. I am. I think it's, a, it's the most charming story. And as you know, I told it again on the special that Brett Baer did. Uh, he prompted me. He was sort of the provocateur there. I said, you know, Sean doesn't really like it, but it's a wonderful story, and it just shows. I mean, I like it because it shows how, you know, I haven't made this fact that I'm in a wheelchair uh, sort of the center of my life, and the fact that you weren't even aware of it I thought was lovely. So it was a way to compliment you. Uh. No, I, I, listen, it, it, it's, a, it's a friendly story that we have between the two of us, yeah. and... You know, but the story is really inspiring. The special was fantastic, by the way, and uh, it's 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 it reminds all of us that think we have problems sometimes that people are everybody has problems, and some people are struggling with some really incredible things. And your ability to overcome, I found inspiring. So thank you. Well, I mean, as I, you know, one of the things I realize is having spent seven years in medicine and three years in hospital medicine, which is a sea of suffering, and I write about this in the introduction gives you an appreciation of what real suffering is and I come to the conclusion that everybody has their cross to bear everybody everybody knows a family member that the only difference is in some people you can see it in some people you can't and that's the only thing that distinguishes us for those that don't know you're a trained psychiatrist and if you ever start analyzing some of the on-air personalities uh, on TV uh, I think we're all in trouble we're really <laughs> Uh, I, actually, I, uh, you, want to, you should think of me, Sean, as a psychiatrist in remission. <laughs> I'm doing very well. I haven't had a relapse in 25 years. Okay, that's sort of like a congressman saying, former ex, I'm, I'm in rehab exactly. now. All right. Well, what do you make of this story? I mean, the idea, this was a no-bid contract. It was a lot of money. It goes beyond the normal procedures. Then we have this, this connection to Michelle Obama, fairly radical connection. What's your reaction? Look, right now, I don't want to judge who was doing exactly what with this on the basis of this. It is clear that the, one of the reasons the rollout is such a disaster is because the whole damn thing was done with no bid. And when you think about that in the context of the federal government, think of a Solyndra. Think of the entire boondoggle with the green energy economy that Obama has tried to create out of nothing with federal money. It is an intrinsic part of the, the, uh, the great entitlement state, the state that thinks it can do anything on its own, take over a sixth of the economy with health care, create out of nothing a green economy at a time when history and the market have said it's not ready. It is always true that it will be riddled with cronyism because it is all the decisions are made not on the basis of the market, but on the basis of what a politician or a bureaucrat wants, and that's where the corruption sets in. Charles, everything that was told to the American people as the president sold this, everything, I can't think of one thing that is not true. It has all turned out not to be true. The average family isn't saving $2,500 a year. Uh, people are not keeping their plan. They were told that if they liked it, they can keep it. The cost of it is not $900 billion. Everything, the rollout would be easy. Nothing is true. What is the political fallout, and what should Republicans do uh, for the consumers that are now experiencing a lot of heartache? 
when the other guy is committing suicide, get out of the way. I've always thought that the reality of Obamacare, which you saw coming, I saw coming, the whole conservative movement saw coming, and talked about it and wrote about it for five years now. It's all coming true. And as a result of that, the facts speak much stronger than any argument. You, as you were mentioning earlier, you've got the mainstream media, which have been cheerleading for Obama now for five years, all chiming in on what a, a disaster it is. We ought to talk about the broken promises, as you have, but let the disaster unfold. This could be a setback for the entitlement state and the liberal, arrogant idea that could set them to back for a decade. And they know it, which is why they are terrified. I agree with that. And uh, for the sake of America, I hope it gets stopped because it's going to wreak a lot of havoc and a lot of suffering. Exactly. Charles, congratulations on the book. Loved it. Loved the special. And uh, thanks, thanks again for being with us.